Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Courtney and thank you for tuning in to You Thought It I Said It. You Thought It I Said It. You Thought It I Said It. You Thought It. I definitely said it. But listen, we got a topic to discuss today. We really got a topic to discuss. This topic today is, is it okay to lay up with niggas that don't have nothing? And when I say nothing, I mean not a damn thing. No car, no job, no money. They don't got a goddamn thing but some good pipe. And good pipe, it might be good. It might even blow your back out. Might make you feel real good about life. But, he ain't got nothing else to bring to the table. Is it okay, ladies? Is it okay to fall in love with a nigga such as this? All right. It is my answer. Hell to the no, no, no. No, no, no. Hell no. It ain't okay. It ain't never fucking okay. And it's a fucking retarded. Okay? I don't care what you say. I don't believe in it. This ain't no waiting to exhale type bullshit. We not doing that. No. It's not okay. If a man is not established, if he ain't even attempting to be established to get himself together, Hell to the no, no, no. Hell no. It ain't okay. Nah, it might be okay for some of y'all. If it's okay for some of y'all, then cool. Go ahead, child. Take care of you a nigga. Boss him up. Get him right. You know, do whatever it is that you need to do for that nigga. But I, I'm not doing that. I don't even want to do that. A man is supposed to be the provider. And if you ain't providing, then you ain't a man. Use a son. So y'all hoes right here taking pipe from your son. Y'all let that nigga be knee deep in the pussy. And he's your son. He ain't providing nothing. He ain't paying no bills. He ain't giving you a rose. He ain't doing a goddamn bang but laying on your couch while you's at work, driving your car while you's at work, taking your money, spending your money when you's at work. That's a problem. And if you don't see that as a problem, something wrong with your ass. And I know it's a lot of y'all gonna watch this video and say, well, Tommy just lost his job six months ago. Six months ago? Hell no. Six months ago, he should have got a job. It only take you about 30 days to find another job. I don't give a goddamn if you flipping a burger. You better flip something. You better flip something. Take your ass to work. Flip a couple burgers. You know, wrap a couple tacos. I don't give a damn what you got to do, but you better bring in a couple coins. Because it ain't free to live. You can't lay up in here and lay pipe without no money in your pockets. I can get some good dick from anywhere. I don't need your good dick. I don't need broke good dick. And that's what y'all hoes tend to keep up with. Y'all like broke good dick. Hell no. It ain't okay. Unless y'all really want to boss a nigga up. Make that nigga somebody. For him to get up and leave your ass. Because now it's not a team. He ain't finna be with you. He probably only with you because you bossing him up. He only with you because you letting him lay on your couch. Asleep in your bed. And don't got to pay a damn thing. What kind of woman is going to accept some foolery like that? Now, it's one thing for you to be dating a man six years he loses his job. And it's hard for him to get back on his feet. That's a whole different ball game. But most of you hoes go into the relationship with a nigga that's riding a bicycle. Bitch, hell no. That ain't okay. You cannot date a nigga that don't even have a whip. You can't date somebody that can't put no money on your light bill. Can't go half on the rent or something. I mean, he can't pay the full rent. And he can't even go half on the rent. That's a major problem. You can't go. But first of all, I don't understand. With men, if you know you're not established, if you know you don't have no money, if you know you don't have a car, if you know you don't have a job, and you know you don't got no type of way to support yourself, why take on a woman at all? You don't need no woman. Hell, you need help. You don't need no woman. You need therapy. You don't need no damn woman. You need your ass whooped. 
You don't need none of that. So therefore, stop laying up with these niggas. Stop dating these niggas because they got good pipe. That shit is out. If the only thing he doing is blowing your back out and being knee deep in the pussy, then it ain't it ain't for you, sis. Yeah, you can keep, you know, laying up with them. Yeah, you can love on them. Yeah, you can fall in love. Yeah, you can just be so happy. But one of these days, you're going to wake up and just be tired. So broke down. So tired of doing everything for him. You're going to be so tired of coming home every day have to clean your house. You're going to be so tired of having to cook. You're going to be so tired of just doing everything. Then you're going to try to tell your friend, I'm so tired of Tony. Tony don't want to cook. You don't want to clean. You don't want to get a job. Don't That's your fault. Because you allowed Tony to bring his ass up in there broke and laying deep down pipe. That's it. That's all he, that's all he brought to the table was pipe, 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 pipe. That's all, that's all he really wanted. Now you six years in and, and don't know what to do with your life. No, baby. Don't accept it from gate. Because it's not okay. If a man think that's okay, he's delusional. If you have to put him in a house, if you have to get him, you know, a car, if you have to get him a job, because he don't know how to fill out his own application, because he don't know how to go out and, you know, get a job on his own, that's crazy. Who the fuck raised him? Send him back to her. Because he worthless. I mean... You might love him, but he definitely sorry. Yeah, he real sorry. That's embarrassing. Don't tell nobody that's your man. Just tell them that's your son. That's your son. Ain't it ain't it ain't no man, but it's a son. Ain't no other way around it. It's not okay for me, but it might be okay for you. And if it's okay for you for any reason, any of you, any of y'all, if it's okay for any of y'all, then that's cool. Lay up with bruh. Bro, man, go ahead and lay up with bro, man, and be let and be angry later. Lay up with bro, man, and just be disgusted by his face later, cause that's what it's gonna do. It's gonna make you broke down, disgusted, hurt, tired. You ain't gonna know what to do with yourself. Don't accept things. Don't go into a relationship accepting things that you know for a fact that you're not going to want to put up with in the long run. Because I'm telling you, anything, any type of characteristics they bring in in the relationship, yes, people do change. But no, 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 no. They don't change that much. They don't change from just being nothing to being somebody just because. Because who in the fuck do just want to be nothing? Tweet a dumb, tweet a do. No, don't put up with that. It's okay for him not to have a job, you know. And he, as long as you see that he's looking for a job, he's looking to be established, then okay, get that nigga a time frame. I'm going to give him 60 days. 60 days, he got to have his shit together. Now 60 days come around, and he's still looking for a job. But he's sleeping in your bed, laying straight, pipe, 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 pipe. Uh-uh. You got to put an end to that now. Nah. Sir, it's been 60 days. Your ass is evicted. Go stay back with your mama until you can find something. A man ain't going to do nothing until you make them. Well, actually, a boy. A boy ain't going to do nothing until you make him. Okay? So, ladies... Make sure these niggas got a job. Make sure these niggas working. Hell, if he got to go swing a little dope, that's his damn business. He bringing in some type of money. No, I don't condone niggas being drug dealers. But um, if it's going to pay the bills, you better go swing a little crike. You better go swing a little ecstasy. I don't give a hell. Whatever it is you got to swing, swing it. Because some bills need to be paid in here. And you can't lay up in here and lay pipe for free. That's just how I'm looking at it. Now, if anybody feels any other kind of way, if you think that I'm wrong and you think that it's okay to boss a nigga up, holla at your girl. Let me know because I don't think it's okay. And I'm never going to think it's okay no matter what you say. But I still want y'all to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure y'all hit that notification bell for your girl. And 
I'm definitely gonna make another video tonight. So make sure y'all tune in. And thank you all again for tuning in to You Thought It I Said It. You Thought It I Said It. You Thought It I Said It. Bye-bye.